This is a little trick. Doing this to a cat that isn't very tame. And you flip it over. And you rub where its glands are. And you can see it's still a little worried. It's relaxing. Oh, that's because Inca's right there. Inca. You can smell Inca. So, grab behind its ears, or under its ears, and you're rubbing these glands and stuff. And it's basically to get those glands going, and it relaxes the cat. It might look a little harsh at the moment, but it's because I have to hold her at the same time, or him, this is a boy. And it's rubbing these glands and getting them going relaxes the cat. You know that cats love these kind of things. But this is a wild cat or partially wild cat. So it needs additional help to adjust to um, being handled. And it's like getting all these glands going. And those ones right under the ear here is the other one. And you get them going and the cat starts to relax. You can see. And then there we go. There we go. There we go. Now, Slightly a distraction is that Inca's there. And so the kitten's worried. It doesn't know Inca. But look at that, it's already relaxed in my lap because I've got its glands all going. And it is nervous about Inca. Yeah. <laughs> oh, baby. Come here. Let's, let's, oh, see, there we go. Ow. Okay. Now I've got to grab it by its scruff. Inca, you've got to go away. Pinpricks of kitten, uh, kitten teeth are not fun. So I have to get the glands going. Ow. Ow. Whoa. Okay. Now, that was because Inca was being in the pepper up. He was like, what's going on? And there's the kitty now, under the chair. And I have a puncture wound, thanks to the kitty. And thanks to Inca. You're bold. You're very bold. So after a bit of the other kind of stroking, I then bring him up into here and have him, and you can see the paw is relaxed now. This paw is relaxed. There's no claws, but I wanna make him used to me touching him all over gently and easily. Doesn't know me. He's got a bit of a scar there. A wound he came with. But see, he's already relaxed. Got his glands going. So when cats close their eyes like that, you know they're beginning to relax, even though his tail is tucked, still tucked, between his legs. So this little fella, we'll have to figure a name for him. I think he's gonna have a long coat. It's covering his face and pulling on his whiskers forwards, which is also rubbing on those glands because they have glands right here. It's just stimulating all those glands. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Yes.
Yes, baby. There we go. Yeah. You can see his eyes are very clear. His ears, very clean. Both ears are very clean. One is would be tempted to call him Orlando the Marmalade Cat, but no, I don't think I'm gonna call him that. He'll have to have another name. Do you see that, closing the eyes? That's such a good sign. He's relaxing, look at the paw. No um, claws. He's not struggling trying to get away or anything. There we go. Good baby. Now I'll go grab the other kitten. Return this to the box and his secure zone. And I'll get the other kitten and do a little work on it. Look at that. So relaxed. Yeah. Yeah, sweetie baby.